Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Emergency Response, Liberty County. It's gonna sort of be an update video. I'm just gonna be going over the five new cars that I've released over the last five days. Um, so yeah, other than that, let's just jump right into it. So on Monday, we got the 2022 Terrain Traveler. It is... Uh... I kind of right here it is a Land Rover, I think, which I don't like, but yeah, I don't know. $159,000. Here it is. I don't know. I don't really like it that much. Just the front looks fine. It's back is not for me right, just a quick speed test we'll do this for every car to go up and down this road max is out at 129 there we go <clears throat> we'll drive back just quick Alright, next vehicle we have on Tuesday was much cheaper. It is $22,000. Uh, it is right here, the 2020 Navara Imperium. I think this was um, Nissan Altima, I think. I want to say. Um, I do like this car. It actually does look pretty nice. Um, sounds good. Let me turn down my desktop audio. This car also does drift pretty good. I'll show you uh, in a second. Let me just repair it. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I actually do like it in this blue. Actually, blue with the black rims actually looks pretty good. So we'll go get that out and then just drive it a little bit. So yeah, um, looks of the car, pretty nice for a uh, really cheap uh, sedan. I really like it. Um, it does drift a lot, so yeah, it's pretty fun to uh, just drift around. Do a top speed test right here. So yeah, max out at 110. Um, it's kind of what you would expect for a car that's pretty cheap like this, but. Uh, actually, I think this is actually one of the more faster cars that it's under, it's like under like 30, 50,000. Alright, we're back. Um, the game just lagged out. So yeah, that was the 2020 Navara Imperium. Next is the 2022 Velfire Ferrari, I think. Uh, let's see, it is 60,000. So it is right here. Is a truck. It is, I think this is the Toyota Tundra. I want to say, or the Tacoma. It's one of those two. Um, it does look pretty nice. Let's get it in a gray. Once again, 60,000. Alright, look to the truck. I, ooh, I like that. When you turn on the headlights, all this comes on the front. That looks cool. Actually, a pretty nice looking truck. I'm not gonna go the fastest, obviously. It's, well, it's a pickup truck, and it's made to like haul stuff around. But yeah, there's a speed test. It's like probably 120. Ooh, no. 130. So it goes the same speed as the um, the Land Rover, and this is much cheaper than that. Huh. All right. Do on the way back as well. Yeah, that is the 
the, the Tundra. Or the Tacoma. I think it's the Tundra, though. Alright. Um, next vehicle we got on Thursday is the 2021 Stuart. Uh, I don't even know how to say that, but it is 160,000. Is here. Uh, I don't know what. This might be. Mercedes? Yeah, this is a Mercedes. Okay. So, 162,000. Let's get a white. This car is, I don't really like it either. I think the front looks fine, which the back is just way too curvy. That makes sense. Here's the top speed test of the vehicle. So same speed as the Tundra and the Land Rover that we just looked at. And this one is a little bit more expensive. Okay. Alright, and lastly, the new vehicle we just got. It is the 2021 Taco Experience. 470,000. It is an exotic. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Reminds me of the, the Rapid GT and GTA a little bit from the back. Not, I don't think we've ever gotten a car that's named Keiko in the game before so I'm not really too sure on what supercar this is or like what brand of car this is but it does look pretty cool looking first impressions actually really nice Top speed. The back tail lights around me is like a Dodge. Ooh, wow. All right, 140. Well, it's not bad. It's pretty good. This car drifts. Let's try that in a second. speed is pretty nice and it does look pretty nice as well so let's try and see if we can drift this car easily So yeah, it's going to be every car um, that came out in the last five days, so one car every day of the week. Um, today was the last day, so it started Monday, ended Friday. So yeah, this is a pretty nice looking uh, car. Um, so yeah, if you want to buy every car, just doing the quick math here. So if you wanted to buy every car that came out in the last five days, it would be just under nine hundred thousand dollars at eight uh eight hundred and seventy five thousand five hundred dollars so yeah uh my opinion i liked um i like actually most of them the ones i didn't really like that much were the mercedes and the land rover but i thought the other three were pretty good and pretty nice looking so yeah that's gonna be it for this kind of video hope you guys enjoyed and uh see you guys Next time. Goodbye.